So I've had my GoPro for years. I decided I'd attach it to my helmet and take you guys on a few rides with me sometimes. So this is my 2019 Street Glide Special. Um, this is me I'm tucking in the cords to my cell phone. That's one design problem that I don't like about it. If I'm riding down the dirt road, it will shake loose and it has fallen onto the road by coming out of that compartment. So I wish that they designed it to where the phone kind of angles down into a pocket. It's not very big. I have a Samsung Note 8 and it will not fit in there. It will barely close even when it's not charging. So one thing I think they should look into is designing that pocket for people with a little bit bigger phones. I'm just out just taking a short little ride into into town and then I'll head over to Valdosta. I wanted to test out the GoPro but one thing I messed up and didn't record half the ride over to Valdosta so you'll see that in a little bit. But just enjoying a ride out and it is 90 degrees but once you're moving while you're moving you don't really feel it but when you stop and stand still at a red light you wish you would have driven something else and i had to pick some music to play over the music that i'm listening to on my radio because i get a copyright strike if i play copyrighted music so I just pick something off YouTube and let you guys listen to that but if you listen close enough you might be able to hear what I what I ride and listen to it's a mix of all different types of music I'm heading to equipment right now getting ready to dodge some potholes on this road everybody knows where they are and this is a guy trimming the uh, trees and if you look closely you can see the blade spinning on that lawnmower that bush hog he has right there glad nothing flew out when i drove by having my half helmet so i don't have my face shield on and right there you notice it jumped i'm in about austin now but i didn't record half the trip over there so you missed a lot i'm headed back home at this point passing a biker here Gave him the old motorcycle wave. It brings me to a question. Do you guys wave at scooters? I'm about to pass one right here and I waved and she didn't wave back. So I don't think they know about the motorcycle wave and scooters aren't real motorcycles anyway. So yeah, I think I'm gonna stop waving at scooters. I like to get gas here, it's pretty wide open, the cars aren't that closely parked to you. But there's one thing that I hate is the card readers, they randomly want to read your card. So you'll, you'll hear it in a minute how many times it declines or doesn't read, it says error reading card. And it's a brand new card, so I know it's not the card, and I know I'm not crazy. That's me shaking my head. But when I finally give up on it, I have to get back on the bike, tuck my glove in, close the gas cap, ride around to another one, and hopefully it'll read my car. And on the first time on this one, it took the car. So like I said, this is random. It does it at different gas pumps. I don't know why. So as I was hopping back on my bike, I looked over and saw something weird. Like surely those kids will get in their car seat before she leaves the gas station, right? I hope so. But headed back home now. And for the new motorcycle riders out there, you gotta always be on the defensive when you're driving. This car in front of me, I'm not sure what the deal was, but turning into their driveway, they decided to stop in the middle of the lane and left half of the car sticking out. 
or I could just barely get through there. If I was in a car, I'd have to stop completely. Like you see, there's no traffic coming, so I'm not sure what that was, what that was all about. But I'm just headed back home on Troopville, uh, just enjoying the nice day out, no rain to worry about, just the 90 degree heat. But I won't have to stop here, so it's pretty cool. It feels like you're riding in probably 75, 80 degree weather. Not that bad, as long as you're moving. One of my favorite curves on Troopville. Get a little bit of lean going in the bike. And the most eventful part of the trip is going to happen in just a few seconds. Yes, I ride in flip-flops sometimes, I know. No need to comment on how dangerous it is, but it's just something I like to do. But coming up right through here. Boom. I don't know if you saw it, so I'll slow it down for you. That's a bug. And a pretty big one. It got me on the inside of my knee. I think it's a wasp zoom in for you but I think that's a wasp and it felt like somebody threw a razor blade at me so this is me checking to make sure I'm not bleeding but that was it nice ride out uh, quick little ride into Valdosta and I'm headed back home so I'll catch you guys next time